Iran is a country filled with rich tradition and history dating back to thousands of years ago. Sure, the country may not be the largest or have the most people in it, but it sure makes up for all that with a historically rich-filled civilization. Something that I've always found very interesting are specific dates, times, eras, and histories in Iran. So what a better place to research it and look into it than Iran's National Museum. صحبت میکنیم از ایران باستان منظور من کهانترین زمانی هست که انسان در فلات ایران ساکن شده و آثاری رو از خودش به جای گذاشته Iran's National Museum contains many rare and priceless objects. It has human and animal teeth dating back to several thousands of years ago. موزه ملی ایران یکی از مهمترین موزه های کشورمون هست موزه مادره که در خصوص نگهداری آثار باستانی و هویت ملی بیشترین تعداد آثار باستانی رو در مجموعه خودش نگهداری میکنه. Persian antiquities that include pottery vessels, metal objects, textiles, books, and coins. Also, an amazing ceramic figure which dates back to 9,000 years ago. Now, I want to take a look at this footed pottery vessel. And what's unique about this is, one, it's over 5,000 years old. Two, it can actually be a first attempt by an artist to show a scene of an animal eating by animation. موزه ایران باستان این افتخار رو داره که روندی از زندگی اجتماعی انسان و اتفاقاتی که در کشور ما افتاده رو به نمایش میذاره Now, the first section of the museum that we'll look at is all types of different vessels, from stone to pottery, even clay. Some of them are footed, some of them have spouts, some of them actually date back to 7,000 years ago. That's really amazing. This is jaw-dropping. I want you to actually picture yourself 2,500 years ago. How on good God's earth was this carving etched into the side of this wall 2,500 years ago? What I really like so far is that we see many different types of beautiful displays. But what's really cool is that these artifacts represent different parts of Iran. And not only different parts, different eras. Some date back to 7,000 years ago, some five. It's really amazing. The museum is filled with so many different artifacts ranging from necklaces to ceramic containers, bracelets, and amazing carvings. Now, this section of the museum is dedicated to objects made of bronze. Bronze is an alloy of tin and copper mixed, one of the oldest alloys known to mankind. And if you look here, you see different types of weapons, from knives to arrowheads to skiffs, needles, even shields. How awesome was that when battle was raging on, these were the things used. The museum draws tourists from all over the world. I ran into some Orientals, then some people from Europe, even a wonderful couple from Turkey. I'm from Poland, I'm a student from Istanbul. Me and my friends, we decided to visit Iran because of the old culture of this country. The country is very beautiful, the people are very hospitable, and I strictly recommend to visit all of the country, and I strictly recommend to visit the National Museum of Iran in Tehran because you can sum up all of your experiences. These two statues basically speak for themselves. The first is a bronze statue of a soldier with severed limbs, and the second is a stone, headless statue of King Dariush. You know, this guy's called the Salt Man, and that's a very interesting name. And the reason he gets this name, the Salt Man, is because his body was discovered in 1993 by miners working in a salt mine. Yes, his body was discovered in a salt mine. After research was done, it was even more of a fascinating discovery that 1,700 years ago, from a very hard blow on his head, he was killed in a salt mine. Henceforth, the name, the Salt Man. Surely.
hopefully an enlightening day looking back at the history of Iran. For Iran Program, I'm Reza Nayebi. Thank you for tuning in. Thank God for another day. Till I see you again. Thank you.